What's happening guys, NASCAR Gamer here. Before we carry on with today's video, I just want to announce that I will begin work on the next NASCAR Gamer Cup Series race, just so we can carry on with the series. And secondly, we are back with another, if I crash in any NASCAR games, the game changes. This is part five of the series. Prepare yourself for some of the most insane crashes you're ever going to see. Before we carry on with today's video, I just want to point out we've officially reached 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for this insane number. It's been an amazing journey coming up to this amount of subscribers, and I thank you so much for it. And to celebrate, we're going to be making a NASCAR Gamer Cup Series race, hopefully to make it the best one yet, and it'll be coming out soon. First up, we're going to be doing a Roblox NASCAR game. This is a really good NASCAR game on Roblox, honestly better than what most companies could make an actual NASCAR game for, as the damage is realistic and the crashes are insane, and speaking of the crashes, the AI are going to cause a massive accident at some point, and we have to try our very best to avoid it, as you can see there's a big ramp on the racetrack and oh, everyone's going flying, but we're just going to barely make it through. We've got drivers flipping in the infield, Tyler Reddick goes absolutely flying, we've got Lightning McQueen to the inside, the ramps keep on coming, Jimmy Johnson goes loose and goes into the infield. Field. I bet he's going to go flying. Lightning McQueen's getting really loose in front of us. He's just showing off his dirt track skills. Chase Elliott's getting really loose in front of us. He's got air and he's, oh my goodness, his car just exploded to the right of us as we've got two drivers now flipping, including Lightning McQueen. We're going to barely make it through. Oh no, my man Byron's going to take out Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And oh my goodness, that's a big accident and we're going to make it through and I think we're the last man standing. I forgot to mention, once we finish the Cup Series, we move up to the Xfinity Series, then the Truck Series, and if we finish the Truck Series, we win this challenge. You can see there's a big crash in front of us, one driver going over the catch fence, and reminisce to the 1993 accident in Turn 1 and 2. So far, so good, no humps down the back stretch this time. Now we've got more smoke in front of us, and this is going to be a big accident, I bet. We've got cars getting loose in front of us, one going over, and again another one goes on top of the catch fence, and one that's literally riding the catch fence. This is absolutely crazy. So far so good, we're making our way towards the front of the pack and whoa, a very close call right there as we make our move to the middle. Whoa, a lot of contacts up front, side by side for the lead. Looks like the leader does not want to let second place take the lead. As you can see, they're now side by side. We're in the middle of a three wide scenario. Oh, we're going to get really dicey right here and we're going to hold on. We've got the leader, so 54 gets some air and oh, we've got a big crash. Two drivers flipping and barrel rolling, three cars flipping now into the catch fence. This is absolutely insane. Alright, it's us versus these two. Oh, never mind. Looks like the 54 car decides to lip page the entire field, and that's okay because that means we're once again the last man standing. Uh oh, we've got a car flying towards us, and oh, just barely avoid them. The trucks are usually pretty eventful when it comes to crashes. Let's see what they can bring us this time at Talladega. And we got one upside down already, and we got a lot of smoke up in front of us. I reckon there'll be less flips, but I reckon we'll be in for the big one. As there's a lot of cars, and oh, there is a lot of flicks, excuse me. A lot of cars flipping, and that was a big one right there. You see more trucks flipping as we carry on going down the back stretch. Man, that was a crazy start, but we once again made it through. We've got one truck flipping on the outside lane, and whoa, that was quite close. We made it through. Oh, we've got one spinning on the outside lane coming down towards us, but once again, how are we making it through these accidents? So there are multiple trucks out of this race, but there's three in front of us. Make that two, because now the one car's going to go off in the end, probably into the catch fence. I heard a crunch right there. We're still in the game along with two other trucks as right now things are getting quite intense up front as now we're looking to see who be the first was out. Whoa, we got a car looking like they're going to try and take out the whole field right there, but we made it through somehow. It's me versus Matt Crafton. Who's going to get the dub? Who be the last man standing here at Talladega? Whoa, we got another car trying to take us out. Oh, we got a start truck on the inside right there. Matt just barely squeezes through. I reckon there's going to be another car coming out. Try and take a, a Matt out. So I'm going to have to be really careful. Whoa, it's an ambulance. Well, that's not much of an ambulance. Whoa, we barely go underneath it. It flipped on top of us. Call that an ambulance, all right? We successfully survived Pumu Talladega. And just like that, we're going to celebrate by going back old school. We're going to back to the Days of Thunder era. Only this time, we've got some mega ramps, and oh my goodness, everyone's getting there, and we're going to go for a tumble, boys. I think everyone is, but that's okay, because we survived the challenge, and that is absolutely insane. Houston, are we clear for a liftoff? Yes, we are. We're going into the crowd, and I think the blue wall's going to keep us from entering the crowd, so that's saved them. And oh my goodness, there goes the deck lid, and I think our journey for this game ends here.
Coming up next is Backstretch Battles. Oh, this is going to be a good start. And yep, we got a good jump on the field right there. Oh, of course. The track we had to choose is the one that has ramps on it. Congratulations. I guess we got what we deserve for choosing the track that has ramps on it for this challenge. As you can see right there, I'm just going to take it easy. Don't you dare try and take me out. That's what you get right there. Man, look at all of this, but I'm more worried about those ramps up ahead. As you see, whoa, that could happen because I don't know why, but the physics are terrible on those ramps. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just trying to survive right You can see the 19 always takes us out right there. We've got one flip in. You wonder why I'm taking it easy, especially on a track like this. Yeah, I'm just going to bail out right here. If I absolutely have to, I will. Call me a coward all you want, but I'm just trying to do this for my safety. I'm just trying to survive. Martin Trex Jr. is going to be aggressive. Aggressive goes around. We're taking quite a few unnecessary risks as we currently lead and we go over those ramps without any problems But as soon as they come along I bail out you wonder why because some of these guys don't know how to drive I like to take each other out and I just don't want to be a part of that Oh, we've got a lot of jostling for positions next to us. As you see multiple cars get loose right there, but we're gonna, they're going to hang on, and we're luckily going to stay clear of it, and, well, we're going to try and avoid it too much, and, oh, we're going into the sand trap. We're actually doing really well now. Doing much better than I thought. Are you kidding me, game? We had that done. The physics. No, the physics literally ruined it for us at the last moment of the race. Apart from that, if that didn't happen, we would have survived. If I can't succeed in this challenge, at least let it be so we can try and succeed in a win. I mean, come on. We haven't got long left, so we need to make the move and soon. Me and Noob are now side by side, but we've got enough momentum and we're going to get the dub. This is how we're going to end this challenge. How about that? And as a thank you to Noob for racing cleanly and not aggressively, I'm going to help you by giving you a bump draft away from the pack and I'm going to give you a dub. Thank you very much for helping me and that's what you deserve. We welcome you live to the NASCAR Cup Series here at Richmond Raceway. Today, 40 drivers awake with a mindset of short track racing. There will be 400 laps of bumping. Bang it, and rivalries may break out a result of the aggressive racing. Ross Chastain will lead the field to the green flag for when we go racing. I am joined by NASCAR Game. Oh, where is he? Oh, well, guess it's just me alone. Yeah, I never told NRP that I'd be in the booth with him, but it doesn't matter because we're secretly going to be driving as Harrison Burton. We're going to be starting at the very rear of the field, but we're going to try and make our way up front to the pack. And I'm nervous about this because I know how broken Richmond is in this game. I know this game's generally broken as it is, but Richmond, especially with the next-gen car, is a really bad combo and makes the game almost unplayable. So no better way to survive 100% of this race by in a broken game so let's give it our very best shot and try and see if we can get the dub the crowd are on their feet the green flag is waving and we're underway at richmond all right here we go 400 laps are about to be underway and you can see a lot of checking up already from the two drivers in front of us but we're going to make the move immediately to the inside lane and we are underway here at richmond raceway i am honestly nervous about this the plan to survive in this race is simple try to stay out of trouble check up if i need to and oh we need to check up already there's a big ai accident already that's the biggest i've seen so far at this track with the ai I think if we have an accident, I am generally might have to blame the AI because look at this right here. The AI do not know that you are there. They have no respect for you. So you pretty much have to be on your own. You have to have eyes in the back of your head. You need to be careful and look after yourself because the AIs don't care. We're now going to make a move. We're going to dive down low into turn number three. Oh, a lot of contact right there. Hopefully he doesn't turn us. And we are side by side, inches apart from each other as we cross the line. Oh, we got someone on our inside because I can feel the car trying to get around trying to get turned but we're gonna have to hang on just barely and we're going up into the wall and yes someone is on the inside that is kurt bush but we're gonna get momentum from the outside lane and we're gonna dive down low and we're gonna clear kurt we've got an insane battle for 13th between kurt bush and harrison burden they're bumping and banging going to turn three burden goes wide into the corner but he's going to dive down low and with big momentum we'll pass kurt bush for 30. 
Look at this, right in front of us. They're going side by side. How about we make it three wide? Let's join the party. No, more like spoil the party. We're going to take some positions right here. No, we're going to get really loose. Oh, no, there's contact between us, actually. Kyle Bush tried to put us into the wall because we slid up into him. Thankfully, we hang on. You see, there's more contact there. Man, what a crazy corner. This has been some good racing so far. Pure short track action. Whoa, contact between Kyle Bush and Harrison Burden. Kyle holds on, just scraping the wall. Oh, this is awesome. This is just awesome. Woohoo! And some great sarcasm from Bush. Uh oh, we got a bat marker in front of us, so we're gonna bump and run them out of the way. That's Noah Gregson, Scoos and Wise, did you play? Do you know what that means? Get out of my way, and now we're gonna continue to hunt down as we currently try to hunt down first place with side by side with Chase Elliott, and I believe that might be William Byron, and that is it. We are now leading here at Richmond. We are now preparing for pit stops for our first green flag pit stops of the race. So we're going to choose a setup for the crew to come sort out when we come down. Oh, this looks so sketchy. It's the 77 that Josh Balicki tries to go down low, but we're going to bump him up high. And just like that, I think we're side by side. I'm not going to go up high to check. And we're going to pass Kyle Larson. And oh my goodness, that was insane right there. A lot of close racing. We're going to try and dive down low from Kevin Harvick. And oh, there's contact. And Kevin Harvick's going to go around into a one and two. I do apologize about that, Kevin, as we cause the caution this time. My absolute apologies. We survived 70 laps of 400. And that means, unfortunately, while it's not the actual race finish, it is the end of stage number one. And we're going to take the victory for that stage. That was some good racing right there. Uh, okay, so I'm leading, yet I'm being put at the back of the field. All right. Man, this looks sketchy right here. I'm being put on the outside lane. A lot of contact. Oh, we hit the wall right there. But thankfully, no one's behind us. Mia, we could just take it easy right now. Once I'm down low, I'm going to try and stay down low, but not too low. As you see there, we're going to get really loose from the yellow line. We went out of the groove a little bit right there, but it's okay because we're still on the inside. Looks like we're going to make it three wide going to turn number three. I guess not because we backed out a little bit. And oh my goodness, we're getting really loose again. That is the result of the yellow going below the yellow line. Trust me, do not touch the yellow line, guys. Let's try and make a move on the inside right here. I think it's going to work. And nope, we're going below the yellow line. That means we're going loose again. I need to stop touching the yellow line. Ah, hello, Kyle Bush, my old friend from earlier. As we're now going to easily get by you, please do not try and take us out, knowing what you're like sometimes. But we're on the outside, and it looks like no harm, no foul. Let's try and do the crossover to go up high. And oh, I think there's contact with someone. I think it's Chase Elliott, and he's going to person the wall. And we're going around. I cannot believe it. 84 laps in and we lost the challenge. I cannot believe you, Chase. What's worse is there's no caution. Uh, there's a bunch of guys stopped at the entrance to pit road. Okay, this is the third time I've seen this and yet NASCAR is still not throwing a caution. Throw the caution. Green flag pit stops underway. We have a majority of the field coming down this lap as Bubba Wallace leads Corey LaJoy and Todd Gilliland. I have no idea what Chase Briscoe is doing. Maybe he missed pit road. Oh, trouble! Todd Dillon crashes head on into the pit road barrels. This is gonna start the clock up pit road. Tyler Reddick crashes into them as well. Nowhere for these drivers to go. Ricky Stenhouse piles in as well. We got a parking lot down here on pit road. The caution eventually came out five laps later, and whoa, the 14's really loose. Not caused by me, not caused by me, and we just made it through barely. That was close. So NASCAR didn't throw a caution for the pit road incident, but they threw a caution for that. And wow, Kyle Busch once again gets really loose, but he managed to hang on. I don't think that'll be a caution. We are on ball with AJ Allmendinger as he battles former Xfinity competitor Noah Grigson. AJ is also side by side with Ty Gilliland. Look at this packing turn two. This is sketchy. Big contact between Bo Wallace and Grigson. I believe we got a good old friend of us down low, and I believe it's Chase Elliott, and you see he door slams us right there. He's not happy at us, and well, we're going to make some more contact right there, and we're going to try and bump him out of the way, and oh, we're going to get him loose. He's going to go around. Wasn't intended on that. Sorry. Look at this battle. Chase Elliott and Harrison Burton going at it. Big contact off turn four, and there's more contact from Burton to Elliott. No! Oh, Chase goes around! Looks like retaliation from the 21 car. Everyone else avoids the 9 car as he gets back going, but Chase won't be happy about that. Ran over a twice. The last four laps. 
Chase Elliott is just ahead of us, and whoa, he's trying to cut us up right there. I think he's coming down pit road, but man, that was way too close. I think Kyle Larson's coming down pit road, and yes, he is, and I can tell you why, because he tried to cut me up as well as Chase Elliott. Not as close, but man, that was too close for comfort. Oh, look at this. I think we're going to go four wide into the corner. Yes, we're going four wide. This is absolutely insane, and I wish real-life Richmond would produce this type of racing. That was crazy. Everyone bunches back up, but man. We may have lost the challenge, but we're once again going to win the second stage of the race. And that, once again, was chaotic, and we somehow sort of did survive, if only if it wasn't for that incident. Looks like we're going to try and go free wire going into turn number three right over here, and all the caution's out. I wonder why. Baron and Cole Custer side by side. Oh, we got a crash! Custer went up in the Baron, and the yellow is out. We could be in for a very long day of racing over here. You can see, oh, there's more contact, and you can see it's between me and Chase Elliott, and oh, we're being pinned in the middle, pinned against the wall. We somehow hold on to it. We hope you enjoyed the crank it up. And look at this. Harrison Burn in the middle of a three-wide scenario. This may not work out. Look how intense this looks. It looks like Chase was pinned against the wall. There's a lot of momentum in positions. Man, look at this pack. I can't tell if this is speedway racing or short track racing. You can see right here, we're making a risky move in the middle of a three-wide scenario. A lot of contact between Corey LaJoy and Martin Trux Jr. Everyone's going to hang on to it as we're going to bump Martin out of the way a little bit. We're trying to sneak our way onto the inside and we're going to pass all these guys. Man, that was crazy. Well, well, if it isn't Chase Elliott, we're, gonna knock, we're not going to take it easy on you, by the way, for taking us out earlier. We're going to race you harsh and aggressively. We're going to bump you out of the way if we have to, and I will. And I'm not afraid to use the bumper, you see right there. It didn't work that time, but don't you worry. Next time it will work, and I will bump you out of the way. This is nothing against real life Chase Elliott. I, I do like him in real life. But man, this is Chase Elliott in this world, and just like that, we're going to get revenge. Hallelujah, that's what you get. I'm starting to actually get used to this type of racing, especially from this awful game. I generally forgot we're playing Ignition, because that's how all right it's been. And whoa, look at that. We almost go into the pit road barrels, but we managed to make it through, and we gained a bunch of positions. They're already going side by side in front of us. It's going to be a bit risky to make any move. I see a little gap, and whoa, caution's out. Of course it has to. Talk about deja vu. How many times do I have to be behind Chase Elliott? How many times do I have to meet him in this race? I mean, he's going to sandwich us right here. He and Cole Custer are sandwiching me in the middle. This is definitely deja vu. Something I saw earlier off turn two as well. This is just insane. But we're going to get to the inside. And hopefully that'll be the last of it. Oh, a huge crash in front of us. That's definitely going to be a caution. A massive pile up. And we get collected. Now, 50 cents slacks to go. Around goes Corey LaJoy in front of the field. This is going to be big. The lane we're better at. The inside lane is currently not in available for us. So we're going to stick to the outside lane. Let's hope this works. As you see, Lurie's Hazelman's in front of us. And we're going to make a bunch of moves, gain a bunch of positions, and lap a bunch of other drivers on the outside lane. We're going to hit the wall a little bit there between Garrett Smith, Lee, and us. That was very close. We managed to both hang on to it, but it's actually working out well. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything because I know the same driver is in front of us, and he tried to brake check us. See, this is a rivalry, and we're going to go into the wall not paying attention. We just brushed it barely. He's right behind us. He's not happy at us. This is not great. Let's see what brought out that caution. Oh, Kyle Busch may have had enough and just wanted to park in the infield. I mean, this is ignition. I honestly can't blame him. And under yellow, he just wrecked Chase Elliott for no reason. I actually can't believe Carl Busch wrecked Chase Elliott. It looks like he's not the only one that has a rivalry of Chase. Because you can see right here, look how intense this is. As we're currently in overtime, coming to white flag and we go around. We're going to hit the inside wall, I believe. Yes, we do. We pound it. But we're laps ahead of everyone else. No cautions out. So that means we're going to finish this on the white flag lap. The white flag is in the official's hand. Burton will take the white flag and Burton goes around. He will spin into the infield and hit the pit wall hard. No caution. NASCAR will keep it green. Let's end this race in fashion by trying to take out a bunch of drivers. And never mind. But it doesn't matter because we survived 400 laps in NASCAR 21 Ignition. How about that? And wow, we finished really far ahead. Let's go, boys. I do what you do. I'm proud of you guys. 
Great work by Harrison Burden. Now, burn the rubber off those tires, boy. Oh yeah, get the champagne ready to spray across the crowd because we've just won here at Richmond. We're in victory lane with the iconic 21 car getting their 100th win, getting motorbot games off the wall. We don't care about them. And just like that, Harrison Burton will get his first career win and it will come on a special race. How about that? Up next is a unique one, NASCAR Arcade Racing made by EA Sports. And what's even better is that it's arcade physics, so it's going to be insane racing, insane crashes, and we have a steering wheel as well. This is going to feel authentic, all right, and this is probably one of the funnest NASCAR games ever made. And this time, we're going to double up the action. It's not just going to be me playing this time. I'll be playing against a relative of mine, and we're going to be racing against the AI to see how we do. I warn you, there's going to be a lot of contact, as you can see right there. Huge shunt from Kurt. Bush and he's right behind us. Uh oh, here comes Kurt Bush with another huge run, and yet he's gonna bump us into uh, just past Denny Hamlin. And this is insane racing right here. Somehow I didn't crash from Kurt Bush, but I have a little stretch seat. It's the final lap, and I'm gonna let Kurt Bush take the lead because I remember 1974 Firecracker 400, David Pearson did the same thing and he got the slip straight and managed to ring the race let's try it right here we're gonna hit the wall that may have ruined it for us no it's not because we're gonna bump Kurt Busch out of the way and Dale Jr is gonna return back to victory lane and we're just gonna make a bit of a dirty move for the win but to be fair Kurt Busch was racing us like that now it's time for some crazy racing as you can see some huge flips right there oh no Jamie McMurray Jesus, what is Dale Jr. doing? He's just took out another fellow competitor. I think that's Kevin Harvick, and look at that. He's barrel-rolling at Bristol. A lot of side-by-side -side racing right over here. And oh, we're going to pin, I believe that's Reed Sorensen into the wall, and he just disappeared. Uh-oh, Michael Waldron goes into the wall. He's flying over us, and that's another huge crash. And oh, we're going to target Kurt Busch. He's going to go up in the wall and fly over us. And where is Jenny Hamlin going? He's just come up the racetrack and tried to take us out. Okay, that's enough. Up um, next is NASCAR Rivals. We're going to spice things up by going to Bristol Dirt for the very first time. Only this time, me and NRP are tackling it online. Alright, so we're going to be starting up front along with NRP in the number 9 car. We are teammates and we are underway. Just trying to get the hang of this track. I'm not really used to Bristol Dirt. We get quite loose right there, but we managed to hang on just barely. We're now sliding through the corners and we're getting quite loose again and we're really sliding as you can see right there a big wobble but once again we managed to hang on. I'm going to have to be careful as you see NRP go really high right there and oh we're going to go around and that's going to be a big crash and we lose the lead. I cannot believe it. These guys aren't taking it any easy on us as you see they're going four wide. I've never seen that before at this track and we're going to go around again. Going through the inside of Chase Elliott on the inside of these two and we're going to have to salvage as many positions as we can and we're going to wreck across the line. How fitting. Man, look at this pack up in front of us. We've got some really close racing over here as we're going to try and join the party along with a bunch of others. NRP's been shuffled to the outside lane and you see he's gone in the wall and oh, we've got a big crash. NRP's flipping. Okay, it's the real 24 versus the imposter 24. We're currently side by side down the back straight away. Who will be the real 24? Who will go to victory lane here? As we're still side by side going to turn 3 and 4. Coming out of turn 4, we've not been given much room. But we're going to come back up on the racetrack. And oh my goodness, this is some close racing. Man, what a battle this is. We're still side by side. Oh man, this is actually heating up a bit. A little bit of contact right there. We've got an A on the inside and we're going to clear them. Things really heated up now. As you come back to the white flag, he's right behind us trying to get to our quarter panel. But we're going to have to get defensive. Last chance for him to try and take the lead, but he's not going to be able to. And just like that, redemption time. We've got the win here at Atlanta. Less than a lap to go and we're side by side with the two car. Can we try and get the win? As you can see, the lead is currently far on the inside. That's not the best place to be right now. Oh, the lead is going up wide. This is our chance. He's made a really bad mistake by hitting that wall. He slowed the AIs down and that's going to allow us to get to second place. We're now right behind him and we're going to try and dive down to the inside. Going to turn number three for the final time. There's contact, a lot of contact, as you can see. He's trying to force off off the road a little bit and we're going to clear him, are we? Yes, we are just barely. We're going to push him into the wall a little bit there, but it doesn't matter because we're going to get the dub once again. How about that? Some insane last lap racing. 
we are about to tackle NASCAR Heat 3. You know what? I'm not even going to bother saying anything. You know the drill. I'm, it annoys me every time I play this, but it doesn't matter because welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3. We're at the Mid-Ohio Challenge where we are driving us Ryan Reed. Everyone's going to start spinning out because in real life it was raining and it was a chaotic race back in 2016. But hang on, there isn't even a single rain cloud in the sky. You know what, I'm not going to let that bother me as well. So you see, we've got a bunch of drivers stacking up over here. We're going to get really loose from the curb, but we'll manage to hang on and avoid the accident. Bit of a close call there with Austin Sidrick as he gets loose. We're going to go a little wide here. Oh man, we're going three wide through here. And I think it, it does barely work a little bit. And we're going to get a bit loose right there, but it doesn't matter. And now we have Morgan Chef in front of us. Get out of the way. And uh-oh, we got a bunch of race cars all over the track. One stopped in the middle of the track. And we barely make it through. Picking up a bunch of grass. And look at this pack we've now joined. This is insane. Oh Jesus, a bunch of cars literally got wiped out right there. Oh, we're side by side with Justin all guy. We have to lift off a little bit, but it doesn't matter because we have one lap to go. Side by side for 15th. Who would it be? Me or Justin all guy? We're going to bump Justin a little bit and obviously we're going to get it. I do apologize about that. Whoa, that was really close right there. That got me just a little bit paranoid. That was too close. There's Ross Chastain, just minding his own business, sitting on the side of the racetrack, chilling out with a watermelon in his hand. I don't blame him, because if anything, I'd rather be off the track than on the track right now. This is crazy. We got the one car sitting on the inside lane. I believe that's Elliot Sadler, but it doesn't matter because there's no more obstacles in front of us. And we're going to come across and finish fourth here at Mid-Ohio, and we're going to pass the challenge for NASCAR Heat 3. What in the world happened to Christopher Bell? He just got spun around and then he's like, yeah, I've had enough, I'm going to park it. And then he ends up getting rammed into the back of. Yep, that's a really smart idea. I believe Michael Nett had a quite a hard crash back in the pack. He just randomly turned and just pounded the outside wall. At least it's a video game, I guess. And here's my personal favourite one, re-merging the track. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're ever going to be a NASCAR driver, this is not how you re-approach a track after spinning out. It's time to tackle Wreckfest. We return to Wreckfest once again at one of the toughest ovals in the game where we're going to spice things up. I have to wreck someone within two minutes, which is why there's a clock right on the right side of the screen. And if I don't wreck someone and total someone within two minutes, I DNF and I fail the challenge, no matter what. So I want to avoid wrecking, but also I have to take someone out as, as a sacrifice just so we can stay alive in this challenge. We've done a good job so far trying to avoid any accident, but we need to cause one in order to survive. Because as far as I'm aware, most of the field have been taken out. And this is going to be a problem because we've literally just got got a minute until the timer ends and we fail the challenge if we don't take someone out. In a bit of an awkward position but we're going to try and take this guy out. I don't think it's going to work and if anything we're going to pin him against the wall and we're not going to take him out so I'm probably going to have to just ditch this guy as you can see there I do. Jesus we have a pile up off the final corner that's where most of the drivers are I bet. Make it like Dukes of Hazards, we jump over a bunch of piled cars and we're going to take someone out and we're going to wreck them. Let's go and that means that we've succeeded and we failed the challenge because we weren't looking where we're going and we slammed into a pile of tyres. You know what, I'm not going to use the jump, let's just go through the sign. Uh, since when did a sign DNF you in real life? Because of that silly move, we ended up finishing sixth. Up next is Forza Motorsport 6. Just to let you know, this was pre-filmed before NASCAR didn't buy Long Beach, which is why I chose Long Beach, because this was back at the time. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because now we're going to look into make a risky move between Kurt Busch and the wall free wide, and it's going to work just barely. I'm not confident in this corner, so I'm going to slow down a little bit before everyone else, and oh my goodness, and just like that, we got a massive pile up, one driver going up in the air, and no, Matt Kenseth, you, why did you do that? I apologise to Matt Kenseth fans, including Eric Eastep, but we've got to do this. He ruined the chance for us for potentially winning this challenge, and we've just taken him out and destroyed his chances of winning. I mean, to be honest, if I'm not winning this challenge because of him, he's not winning this race because of me. Just look at this. This just looks like a massive stampede into turn number one, and oh my goodness, everyone just had ARCA breaks during that time. They just did not slow down. And look at Matt Kenseth. He made it through just fine, but then, uh, to be fair, I'll be honest, Jimmy did catch him up, so maybe it wasn't Matt Kenseth's fault after all. I mean, after all, Jimmy Johnson was too busy rocking out in his car than focusing on driving. 
this is the perfect example of why NASCAR shouldn't be looking into getting too many more street courses, otherwise something as embarrassing as this may happen. Now I think about it, I actually start feeling a little bit bad for Matt Kenseth. I mean, I just innocently took him out, even though it may not have been his fault. But rightfully so, this shot looks amazing and I'm actually kind of glad I did it. I mean, look at this cameraman. Remember, the cameraman always survives. And now we're going to end Forza Motorsport 6 with a high note as we're going to pile into this crash as well as long as we don't start one. But we're going to join in as it looks like they're all going to miss the first corner. And oh my goodness, we're upside down on top of underneath, excuse me, of Casey Kane. And that is a massive parking lot in turn number one. Time to move on. It's time to survive NASCAR Heat 5. Yay, we're back at Richmond, and even better, for the first time in a while, we're actually in a really busy public lobby, so that's going to be fun. As you can see, they're already wrecking. We almost got caught off in an accident, and we didn't even make it past the start line yet. This looks promising. As you can see, we're just going to slow down. We don't want any harm. I just want to avoid everyone. We got rammed into the back hill, but thankfully, we're going to carry on with no major harm. Somehow, we survived four laps without being totaled, so that's a good thing, I guess. As you can tell, this is getting quite tents up here we got a slow car ahead of us in the kyle bush car i don't know what they're doing as we need to get past them and oh they're gonna get loose and we're gonna barely make it by that was very lucky i think they're reckoning turn number three this is gonna get really wild as we need to get by and whoa just barely and we went below the yellow line as well that was very risky but we made it through oh man this is getting wild in front of us oh we got a crash in front of us we're not gonna be able to make it through i had the chance but i messed up we failed to challenge for nascar e5 but to be fair we made it further than we expected and we're going to finish in a little bit of an embarrassing 24th place. But to be fair, we survived and that is the main thing. But considering this is short track racing on a lobby like this, I'm impressed. Okay, let's go to a much bigger venue, Talladega Super Speedway. One of the best tracks to go to for online racing in this game. Absolute mayhem, big crashes to avoid. Let's give it, let's get it done at Talladega Super Speedway in this massive pack just ahead of us. I won't lie, this is really funny to watch how no one's keeping the car straight. This is just wacky to watch. I've got to keep my eyes out though because the big one could happen at any moment and I think there's going to be a crash over here and yes there is but we're going to stay out of harm's way and we're going to survive that accident and we're going to carry on. Let's stick in with this draft, this pack over here. And oh, there's already lots of trouble going on. And whoa, this is a big one and we've been caught up. We're going to hit the wall. We're going to carry on, but we've lost a lot of positions. And unfortunately, we're out of the lead pack, which sucks. Oh man, cars all over the place just ahead of us. And whoa, we're going to crash and oh, the whole team's going to fly. Finally, we're going to tackle Forza 7. To end this video on a really good note, me and a few of my friends decided to do a free lap race around Watkins Glen in the Gen 6 NASCAR roster. As you can see right there, a good move for one of my friends right there, as now he takes first and we are currently second. Let's see how we go, as we now got yes yeses, he's going in the grass, we got a big run. We're going to go into the back of him, a bit of contact there, but that's alright, because Rubin's racing. And Jesus, we're all right at the very back of him, and we're going to make a move side by side into the grass a little bit of contact he realizes we're there and he's going to give us some room and we're going to go flying through the s's i mean this is just crazy and oh no nrp looks like nrp's now out of contention potentially for the win unless a caution comes out but it looks like right now it's just going to be a battle between me and rowdy fan number eight as you can now come off the carousel try and go on the brakes normally we're gonna go flying through we're gonna get pretty loose right here we're gonna go a bit wide and that's gonna allow rowdy fan number eight to come catch up and how he's right behind us as we now enter the carousel on lap number two we're gonna drift up a little bit and that's gonna allow the inside lane to open up for him we're both side by side kicking cones all over the place we're gonna retake the lead due to momentum but he's right behind us Oh no, we're going to go wide into turn number 5, I believe this is, and so does he. We're both side by side as we now come back to the white flag. Any means necessary from now on, we're going to retake the lead. But once again, he's right to the bumper. He could give us the move and he can give us the bump and run going into the first corner to see if he does or not. He might make the move to the inside and he does. We're going to go on the brakes a little sooner and he's going to go on a little late on the brakes. As you can see now, he's going to go wide. A bit of contact right there, but we're going to retake the lead. Man, what a show between me and Rowdy fan number 8. Unfortunate for NRP, we're going to hit the wall a little bit there. But it doesn't matter because we're going to come off turn number 6. And we are going to win at Watkins Glen. How about that? And we're going to spin across the line intentionally. What a race. 
What's happening guys, NASCAR Gamer here. Firstly, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a lot longer than most of the videos I make. It's about, this one's like 35 minutes, so thank you so much for watching. That takes a lot of patience. And secondly, we've reached 2,000 subscribers, as I mentioned at the start of the video. But now I just want to talk about it a little more. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't really have the urge to make videos because whilst I enjoy making stop motions, I just like seeing how you guys feel about the videos and I'm so glad to see that you guys all love these videos I'm making and support that by subscribing. So thank you very much for that and it's been honestly such an incredible journey getting to 2,000 subscribers and hopefully we can begin the journey to 3,000. So if you enjoyed, make sure to leave like, subscribe and I hope to see you all in the next video.